Hello everybody, this is Navy Blue Gamer. Welcome you back to some more Pokemon Shield. Last time, we stopped Eternatus from bringing about the darkest day and saved the land of Galar as well as the entire world while we're at that. In this episode, it is finally time to challenge the champion for real this time. Change to your uniform and head out onto the pitch. Make sure you save. My match is always sold out, but this... I've never seen a crowd this wild. Everyone knows what you did for us this week, Kyle. They know you're the one who caught Atronatus and saved the future of the Galar region. A hero, a real hero, who battled alongside the legendary Pokemon Zacian and Zazamenta, or Zamazenta. I couldn't have dreamed of a better challenger to help increase my winning streak. Now that I've seen what, just what kind of strength you possess as the greatest of challengers, crushing you into the dirt will show everyone just how strong their champion truly is. Come on, Kyle. Let's make this a final match that'll go down in Galar history. No, a match that'll change Galar forever. We're going to have an absolutely champion time. Well, let's make Galarian history, but we're not going to lose. It's going to be Leon, the undefeatable champion who's losing tonight. We are facing off against Champion Leon. Aegislash is what he is starting out with. Alright. Now, I've act. It's one of the duties of the champions to get the crowd fired up. Level 62, so we're dealing with some pretty strong Pokemon here. However, I have faith that my team will be able to pull through just fine. Use King Shield. So unfortunately, it protects itself, but it doesn't really matter because I was using Sucker Punch anyway. So I used Sucker Punch. I was expecting him to attack me there. Deals a sizable amount of damage. Super effective hit. I expect nothing less from your team. Stance change. He's going to deal a ton of damage now. So this will be... Flash Cannon. Alrighty, I'm going to be in post-commentary for the remainder of this video for a few reasons. Uh, the first is, this is actually my second attempt uh, facing off against Leon. However, the commentary you heard up until I said Flash Cannon was based off of the first fight I had with him. Which is crazy to me of how well that lined up up until that point. Like, I didn't even touch the commentary from the first battle yet and it just lined up so well I just kept it in because it was in line with my first reaction which was ultimately what I wanted to share with you guys looks like we switched to bolt ton because flash cannon I guess took out age slash or something I don't remember exactly what happened I wasn't paying attention um, I'm not running off the script or anything I'm just trying to uh, speak what comes to my mind anyway the other reason why I decided to post commentary was uh, I didn't like the commentary from the second battle. If I am completely honest with you. Hey, look, level ups. Oh, uh, before I go back into that, Haxorus. Uh, <laughs> this thing's a monster. This is a thing that swept through my entire team uh, for my first battle. Yeah, I know. Charizard wasn't even the one that swept through. It was his freaking Haxorus. Oh my goodness, this thing was insane. And the only thing I wish I could do differently was, well, having beaten him on the first try. And part of the reason was, um, now I had a plan for what to do against this Haxor since I knew he had it. And it's like that for this Pokemon, Aegislash, and maybe one other? I don't remember off the top of my head. It's been a, like a month and a half or so since I recorded this bit. So I don't exactly remember what happened. Anyway, uh, I didn't like the commentary for the uh, second battle because a lot of it was honestly just me complaining that I had to do the battle again. 
But, um, so uh, I'm not going to subject you to that. Instead, you're going to get post-commentary me, and I'm going to try and keep the spirit alive. Uh, at least the best I can. Uh, don't worry, Hatterene, I'm pretty slow when it comes to actually doing the commentary. But that's why I'm doing this kind of thing, so that I can get better at it. Oh, by the way, Haxorus is dead now. Um... Oh, I bet you I made the switch because of Outrage. That makes sense. Uh, Dragapult. Oh, yeah. I might have known about his Dragapult as well. I do know that's a Dragon Ghost type. Now. I didn't know then. Um... I don't remember what I did here. It's taking a moment here. There we, there we go. Okay. Um... I inside 2020, I should have switched to Bolt Sun, since it is Dragon Ghost, but... It's all good. It is part Dark type, so... I don't think it had anything, except maybe Earthquake. It might have had Earthquake, I don't remember. I don't have a, I don't have a script running, and I don't have any resources up. Uh, it has Flamethrower, which is neutral damage, so that's fine. And then I use Ice Fang, because that's of course super effective against Dragon. How much does that do? Not as much as I would have liked. That's probably what I thought in the moment as well. I don't think I realized in the, at the time that it was part Ghost because Night Slash would have been a better move for damage. Because the same type of attack bonus plus the um, chance to crit, but it doesn't matter because look, I got a critical hit. A critical hit. Ha! <laughs> Pretty good, Challenger. Oh, man. I'm watching this battle now and... Wow, my, my post-commentary is keeping up with it. Probably because I could focus on commentary instead of having to split between the two. Of uh, playing the game and uh, talking. I say that and I totally forgot who he was sending out. So hopefully I made the right move. Uh, Rhyperior. Ah, yes. Ah, uh, yes. Uh, probably for uh, Magical Leaf. If I had to guess. Yeah, okay. I believe at this point, all the Pokemon that I see, other than this Charizard, of course, um, I didn't know he had, so... This was actually my first time facing out against the Rhyperior. I knew I wasn't gonna live another attack from this guy without... Uh, without feigning before attacking, so... I think I just kind of went with whatever, and just sack tattering because honestly she's so slow that she wouldn't really be able to serve me a great purpose moving forward so oh that's why I switched to Hattery because Inteleon had already fainted makes sense now it all makes sense to me I think I was debating sending out Bolton but I don't okay I did uh, I couldn't remember if I did or not because um, it is faster and can do a lot of damage, but the only super effective move it has requires a turn of setup, so... Might have went with Crunch here due to its, uh, tough Jaws ability. And it wasn't quite enough. And Earthquake, Bolton, there was no way of it surviving. I mean, for super effective hits, it's a surefire way to claim victory. I think I'm debating what to do here, because there's only two Pokemon left. I've been trying to save Arcanine uh, for Charizard. Just a reminder, I did teach him Wild Charge, and that Charizard is the reason for it. Okay, I ultimately did send out Drapion. Now, does he heal? He does not heal. I couldn't remember if he did or not. To be fair, if he did, I probably would not have used this recording. JP on grew to level 58. About to send out Rillaboom. Arcanine can handle that easily. I'm pretty sure of it at least. Drapion switched out. Come on back. Arcanine. Send out Rillaboom and I don't know. I mean, for me, Salva Squad all the way, but. I've grown an affinity for Grookey and its evolution because Rillaboom's a freaking drummer, and I'm a percussionist, so I like that. 
What was I doing here? I don't even remember, to be honest with you. Fight, Dynamax, Max Flare. Okay, so I just went ahead and Dynamaxed here. That is fair. Now, Arcanine is actually a lot faster than I give it credit for, so... It's prob so it would have been able to outspeed this thing. Even at the level disadvantage. Something I guess that should be noted is... Oh my goodness, excuse me. Something that should be noted is... Uh, this Pokemon that he uses is dependent on the starter you choose. So it might be beneficial for you to choose Grookey, because then he has two fire types on his team, which is pretty detrimental if I'm being honest with you. Especially since the weaknesses are so common. I'm not finished up in a champion time here, and I won't let anyone else finish it for me. I think that's how you finished it. I didn't read it all the way through. Alright, Arcanine. You got this. Max Lightning. That was a little early, but that's okay. I'll show you what Charizard could really do. It's Gigantamax time! I wanted to be quiet for that moment. Because... He ends up going first with Max Rockfall. My heart stopped for just a moment until I realized it did less. Until I realized that it didn't even do half of my HP. Even after Sandstorm. So I was like, okay, we're fine. We'll make it through this battle. Meanwhile, I did just over half of his health. So, uh, guess who's getting wrecked here? An electric current ran through the battlefield. And that Sandstorm certainly can't help him either. Max Lightning again. I use Max Rock Rockfall again. I figured the only thing that would defeat me at this point is a critical hit. And it didn't happen. Arcanine is the real MVP of this battle. Oh, man. Even though I did have to rematch uh, Leon once... Ultimately, this was a really intense fight. I was not expecting him to have as high levels as he did, but it was a really, really good challenge. So I really had fun with it. My time as champion is over. What a champion time it's been! Thank you for the greatest battle I've ever had. Alright, I think I gotta get ready for speed reading. Congratulations, Kyle. You've beat even the unbeatable champion, making you the new champion of the region. You've become a first-rate trainer, all right. I offer you my heartfelt congratulations. And now that you've grown so strong, perhaps it's time I started looking ahead myself. It's time we adults started working on improving here and now for the sake of all that's to come. And you, Kyle. What you ought to do now is believe in yourself and your partner Pokemon and keep on blasting ahead in order to create the bright future we all hope to see. People of Galar, here you have it, a new legend born right before your eyes, your champion, Kyle. Bet you can't wait to see what kind of future a kid with this kind of strength might bring about. I sure can't. Let's watch and see what he can do. And that, everybody, was Pokemon Shield. And also some Pokemon Sword thrown in there a couple times. My thoughts on the series. Um, my upload schedule could have been better, I admit. But I'm really happy to be almost done with it. 
We still have the post game to contend with, but I'm going to do the post game a little bit differently, and I'll explain why um, in the bonus video. Um, in in regards to how the series went itself, um, ultimately I'm glad I did this game blind because I love Pokemon games. Honestly, like it's my favorite series of all time, and uh, I've always wanted to record a Pokemon game blind but um well at the time i started recording this this was the first time that i actually got the opportunity to do so due to just um the lack of uh resources that i could use for the other games i have since obtained methods of recording them um but i'm glad that this was the first game i could do that with regardless so would I do it again in the future? That depends on how my commentary builds from here, because something that I've learned from editing this series is I don't do very well if I don't have information on hand. I love giving information to people and, um, and just sharing things about the game, and that's hard to do when you don't know about the game, to be honest with you. Um, I still had a fun time editing it, of course, and I made do with what I had, and at the end of the day, I think it turned out pretty well, uh, given everything that we have went through. But, um, maybe one day, I'll do the series again, but make things a bit more interesting. But for right now, um, I'll do the bonus video, and I think I'll leave it at that until the DLC comes out. In regards to the DLC... Um, I've been debating what I should do on that, whether I should do those blind or not, and honestly, I haven't come up with a decision yet. Because if I'm, if I did this game blind, it would make sense for me to do the others, the other, uh, DLC blind, since it's based off of the main game. But at the same time, like I mentioned earlier, I like to have the information for you guys, so that's, uh, something I will leave to you, for you to decide. Either way works for me, and either way works for me. And in either scenario, unlike what I did uh, with uh, the main game, I will not be uh, starting episodes upon release date. Instead, I'm going to give it some time um, to finish up whatever project I would be working on at the time. Whatever that is, I don't know yet. Uh, just depends on. Uh, how I do in this the uh, next project that I'll be working on. Um, I don't know how much longer the uh, credits are left, so uh, I think one last thing I will say is um, the next series that I will be doing on this channel um, utilizes uh, one of the messes I have acquired of recording. Pokemon games. It's not a Pokemon game, but it does use uh, the same resources, if you will. Okay, I'll stop being vague about it. I got a uh, DS capture board and a 3DS capture board. So, my next series is going to be based off of the game from one of those. Which one? I won't say. Join me here next time for the bonus video. And then after that, for a new series, which at first glance, seems like it'll be a peaceful journey. Oh, but it'll be anything but. See you guys next time.